finally, talk to us about your post on Facebook. Oh. Uh, that caused quite some uh, angry <laughs> Facebookers to yes. come to your, uh, to come and criticize some of what you had to say. What exactly did the post say? And this is concerning Wetangula, the incident at the JKIA. Oh. I think it was put in the national, in the, you know, in the public domain. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was put in the newspapers and it was meant to be my post. But um, I had put, of course, I was reacting to the nation, uh, to the news that had already spread the night before mm -hmm. when there was a fracas in the, you know, in the airport. I was not in that, in that yes. group. I was actually traveling the following morning. And I personally felt that, um, well, it, it need not have delayed for three hours. And as members of the, you know, as leaders, I think when I meet you, I should introduce myself. If you ask me for an ID, I should give you an ID. If I don't have, mm -hmm. like ha it happened to me, I forgot it on my bed that day. But I explained and, you know, gave other documents I, ha I had on me. I had mm -hmm. my work, I had my Senate card, I, you know, I had even a scanned copy of the, of the ID. It's not a big deal. For me, it did not seem, it seemed like there was more to, to it than so just... for you, the senator was being arrogant? Well, I would not... Ha that's how it was reported. That time before I, re I went to Mombasa myself, of course he has a different story to that. And many members also have a different story. Yeah. But I was reacting to the media reports. So your view was if he was polite? I had this feeling that if there was, there was no... Who doesn't... If you think they know you, then it, it was not supposed to be a problem. 